and Mr. Chairman, Mr. <laughs> Board of Honor Judges, other people. <laughs> They say people can't live without air. Really? Children in America know that A is for apples, B is for balloons, C is for crayons, and so on. In modern days, F is for Facebook. <laughs> Friendship is a very wonderful thing. Unlike love and marriage, your friends isn't jealous you have other friends. Back in days when I was young and full of hormones, I used to think <laughs> that the person in love is that who gets undressed. And I don't mean literally undressed. In this case, it means having no secrets being close, taking care, figuratively speaking, have, wearing no masks, and going on with the metaphor, having no clothes, and that is having nothing to hide. I do not have such a cool phrase for friendship. On the one hand, friendship is a tiny kind of love. It is a kind of partnership. You, a friend is someone you can rely on, someone with an established trust. In the lightest case, it's someone you can out with and have fun, someone you borrow a shoulder to cry on, or you speak on, over the telephone for hours. Another great thing in having friends is giving and taking presents. And I don't mean materialism here, because since friends are the best who know you, so you get a pleasure when you buy things and get satisfied. It's ultimately the friends who surprise you and excite you. One day I got this thing. <laughs> On one hand, just a little tiny thing to do a massage. <laughs> but when you're in office, it's a wonderful thing when you sit in a chair and pretend you have a data transfer with someone in space. <laughs> Friendship is a wonderful thing. People typically get together and make friendship in groups. It may be in a kindergarten, in a school, in a college or university, or it may be in a party, in a Toastmasters community where you either know the lady or you have a friend who knows her. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what Facebook figured out. It suggests you to befriend those you have most friends in common. But, ultimately, you end up being comfortable in character. And characters vary, you know? <laughs> For instance, it's just imagine that I am told that my code introduced a bug in a working system. What a nonsense! This can't be possible! I could say. <laughs> At least. And with this character I could offend someone and this awful emotion I can, well, break a likelihood of friendship. And ultimately my friend's friend is not necessarily my friend, unfortunately. It's like Russian, Ukraine and Polish. <laughs> Someone thinks that Polish is very close to Ukrainian. Others mistakenly assume that Ukrainian is a child in a Russian family. But no one claims that Polish is close to Russian. <laughs> but it's your friends and your friends' friends who you create synergy with. Value your friends, and value your friends' friends. Go offline, meet with them, have fun. <laughs>